Hi, this is Brett from TrainingSnacks.com here to talk about microphones, specifically microphones for singers and MCs. Lead vocalists and MCs are usually the people that own the least amount of gear. Most of them just show up with their voice. But if your voice is your primary instrument, why not make sure you sound as good as possible? Have you ever seen a guitarist show up and play the house guitar? Meaning they show up to the gig and they play the guitar that's hanging on the wall besides the bar? No, because it's never happened. The widest singers constantly use the house mic. A mic that the venue's owned for 20 years. It's been spit in by 4,000 people, dipped in beer, dropped countless times, and looks like a crime scene. Not only is it unsanitary, but chances are you're shortchanging your overall sound quality as well. When buying your first microphone, I implore you to go into your local music store and try out three to five mics. Typically, live performers choose dynamic microphones due to their durability and ability to handle high SPLs. However, there are many handheld condenser microphones that are also specifically built for live use. When you pick out your three to five mics, choose a few condenser microphones and a few dynamic microphones. Every voice is different and yours will sound best when your ears tell you. Pick the most expensive condenser microphone they have just so you have something to aspire to and also pick three to four that are in your price range or just a bit more than you were looking to spend. Do not spend less than $99 on your first microphone unless you're purposely going for a less desirable sound. I've seen people sing through instrument microphones and inexpensive karaoke mics, and there really aren't any rules for miking something as long as it sounds good, but that's not what this is about. This is your first official microphone. Buy one that's going to showcase your voice. The $99 range is where you'll find industry standard dynamic microphones such as the Shure SM58 or Sennheiser E835. One of these mics might end up being your choice, but don't stop there when you're testing them out. There is a reason why some mics cost more than others. Better technology results in better sound quality. Whereas dynamic microphones are known for being extra durable and versatile, condenser microphones are known for being more sensitive resulting in more clarity and detail. They also tend to have a wider frequency response, which means the highest and lowest tones of your voice will be faithfully reproduced. The sensitivity in condenser microphones comes from them being electrically charged by what is known as phantom power or 48 volts. Phantom power can be sourced from a mixer, an audio interface, a dedicated phantom power unit, or a microphone preamp. When purchasing a condenser microphone, make sure you have a phantom power source, and if you don't, pick one up with the mic. In addition, remember you're looking to try handheld microphones, not studio microphones, which tend to be larger, more fragile, and not designed to handle the rigors of the road or high SPL. And here's a rule of thumb for when you try out your microphone. Don't just say check one, check two on each mic. Sing, rap, or scream as you intend to do at your live show. This will give you a clearer picture of which mic pairs best with your voice. Lastly, don't be afraid to own more than one microphone. Think of mics as paint brushes. Bob Ross didn't paint the whole painting using one brush. Remember, your voice is your instrument. Showcase it in the best possible way by owning your own microphone. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to feed your head with more training snacks.